Hi, this is Dr. Rita Marie Loscalzo. Welcome to the Fresh and Fun Living Creating Vibrant Health video series. I'm an exercise junkie, and I know I didn't used to be that way, but I love ex I love the feeling of moving my body. I've done marathons. I did my first marathon. I did right before I turned 50 because I decided, oh, I had to, I had to do a marathon before I turned 50. I did my first triathlon a few months before that, and I've done I think two or three, three triathlons by now, and a bunch of half marathons. And I love, so I love to move. So I build that into my daily activity. I mean, that's part of me. That's like, do you brush your teeth? Yeah, you brush your teeth every day, right? Well, exercise. You should be exercising every day. You know. Or at least, you know, five days a week, most days. So you, ha you have to create it as a habit, and it is a habit for me. Um, I like to run. I love to swim. Um, I like lifting. I really love lifting weights. I love the feeling of, wow, this week I can lift more. You know, at one point, I haven't done it in a, in a while, but I was doing these pushes at the gym, these leg pushes, and I got up to 300 pounds. And that's a lot of weight for a, you know, 110-pound person, you know. Shh. And I felt like, wow, it was an accomplishment. When I told my husband that, he was like, what? You're not serious. You're, you didn't have it set right. And he went to the gym and he went, I can barely push that. In fact, like, so it feels good to be strong. And one of the things people ask me, given that I haven't had any animal products in 25 years, is how to, where do you get your protein? And um, it's, it's interesting. Well, I, I'm able to build muscle, you know, very easily. If I start lifting heavy weights, I get big muscles. And so I'm obviously getting enough protein. And I get it from the same place that gorillas and hippopotamuses and elephants do and cows do, from greens. And greens, people don't realize, have so much protein. And um, when you eat them in abundance, like I do, I mean, my... my, my First thing in the morning, I start out every day with at least 32, if not 64 ounces of a green smoothie, which is a bunch of fruit thrown in the blender with a whole bunch of greens and just blend it up and it's delicious. And I'll just sip that for a couple of hours. That's how I start my day. And it makes a real big difference because when I'm traveling, if I don't bring my blender, like if I know I've got to do carry on and these days you can't bring even a mini blender because it's got a blade, I, I feel like you know, I bring green powders and things like that, but I just don't have the same oomph as I do when I have such an abundance of greens. Um, so exercise is important. So um, you mentioned about the airport. There's so many times when you're just sitting waiting, you know, and people say, well, I don't have time for exercise. Well, just look through your day and see, you know, if you're a mom and you're waiting for a kid to get out of a basketball practice or a music lesson or whatever, you can build exercise into that. I have a video that I created with me doing lunges with my backpack on in the airport. We had a layover. Like, I didn't get to exercise this morning because the flight was at 5 a.m. Well, let me exercise here. So I was doing lunges. Find places that you could do it. You know, if you have little kids, Put them on your legs. I loved doing this. I still do it with my 11-year-old, believe it or not. And I still do it with all my little nieces and nephews. My 15-year-old, I can't do it with anymore. But we're just laying on your back and putting the kids on your legs and pushing them up in there. They're squealing. You're getting exercise. I mean, what? how does it get better than that, right? So just find ways that you can fit the exercise in. For more information, visit www.freshandfunliving.com. Thanks.